Hi guys. So this is going to be a salty little video. It's going to be short to the point, but I feel like when I say something outrageous, I can come to y'all and a lot of y'all will think it's outrageous too. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about Tara Lynn. I've covered her a few times on my channel before. She is your I feel like I say this a lot about people, but she is your run of the mill influencer. She's not making any kind of content that most people can relate to or be entertained by. She is, you know, living far beyond means that I would say the majority of the population is living in and she flexes on her subscribers just like a lot of other ones and it might seem like oh well why are you picking her out of the bunch of influencers this is why she recently had the gall to come onto her tiktok and say how she bought a six hundred dollar candle she bought a candle that was six hundred dollars and of course we're not talking about taxes and if there was a shipping fee if she got it shipped in today i bought a six hundred dollar candle and just hear me out because i've heard people talking about this six hundred dollar candle and i did make fun of them i did check the packaging it's pretty intense i'm gonna untie this knot and we're gonna unbox this candle and see what it's about. It's from Lalabo. It's the Santal 26 candle, but it's massive. It's like 20 pounds, I think. And even my like stingy frugal boyfriend was like, oh, hi. <laughs> even my stingy frugal boyfriend was like, I think that you should buy that. So I got it. You did it all by yourself. I got it. Here's the candle. It's huge. And the thing is, like, I, I love to light a fucking candle every day. So I think it's worth it. And it has four wicks, so I feel like it will scent up my giant house better. And like a little dinky candle, you know? And apparently it lasts like a really long time. Versus like their little candles that are $90 and I go through them in like five days. Do you see, you see what I mean? I'm trying to justify this. Okay, I'm about to make dinner, so I'm gonna light it for the first time. If you're my financial advisor is watching this, I'm begging you to just like listen to my reasoning and don't get too mad at me, okay? I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl, okay? Helen's mom got this for me to light candles. It's like a little zapper. How bitchy is this? I'm just, I'm, I'm only human. I'll let you know how it goes, but I think this is my new bae. I'd like to talk about that because I am a candle lover. Some of y'all probably know that. I like burning candles once in a while. It's one of those little rituals that we can do after a long day at work. You come home, you light a candle. You know, the vibes are good, especially when it's cold outside. I love burning candles. Um, you know, I don't do like excessive candle burning, but it's a vibe, it's a mood. I can appreciate maybe spending a little more on a candle than, um, you know, you have like your candles from the Dollar Tree, Target, Walmart, those kinds of stores. But then you also have candles from like Bath and Body Works or um, Anthropology. And then you have the ones that are just like absolutely insane, you know, $150 and plus or up candles. Not in my wildest dreams would I ever spend more than $100 on a candle but to spend $600 on a candle, and yes, the candle is big. I understand the size, you know, oh, it's a big candle, it'll, it'll last for a few months or, you know, even a year, depending on how often you burn it. But to come onto your TikTok and show that to people that are consuming this content, and some of them very well could be having issues doing things like paying a car payment, um, paying their rent on time, making sure that there's food on the table and in the fridge. I understand why people hate influencers. And as time goes on, it really paints a clear picture as to why people are so sick of influencers. Do away with all of them. If you call yourself an influencer, you're making influencer style content blocked, get off my timeline. I just, I don't understand how so many of these 
same people can share the same lack of self-awareness, the same lack of, hmm, how is this going to look to people that are watching my content, supporting me? How is it going to look for me to be showing them a $600 candle, a $2 million apartment in LA, uh, my $85,000 new vehicle, a $5,000 handbag. It's just like all of them share that same, either they don't get it because they're just dumb or they just don't care. And I feel like for me personally, I'm, I'm here for the wanting to consume content from people that I can relate to. And I've mentioned this for years, but what I relate to might not be what you relate to, but I can tell you what the majority of the population doesn't relate to. And the majority of the population does not relate to buying a $600 candle. That, that to me is just like, ridiculous. And some people might say, Oh, well, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. You know, it's not that serious, whatever. A lot of these people who come across content like this, they might not have a platform. They might just kind of feel like, Oh, well, if I leave a comment, it's going to be ignored. Like I, I, I have always been here to elevate voices, to elevate, um, people that might be feeling frustrated and you might not have a channel. I do, which is totally fine. That's my choice. But I want to elevate voices that sometimes might go unnoticed by these influencers. Um, because I just could never imagine. I, I could never imagine, um, doing that and filming it, posting it, leaving it up and thinking that you're being, oh, it's just girly things. Silly me buying a $600 candle. Hear me out. It's not that it's entitlement and arrogance and being completely out of touch with the people that literally built the platform that you're standing on that allows you to buy a $600 candle and live in a million dollar house and drive a hundred thousand dollar, you know, Mercedes or whatever they're driving now, Tesla's, who cares? I bought a house in the fucking hills. <laughs> 16 year old me used to manifest visiting Los Angeles. She would literally have a meltdown if she heard me right now. I'm gonna give you guys like a little empty house tour right now because obviously none of this would be possible without you. This is not my house, this is our house. This is our front door. This is my little yard in the front. It's a dry yard right now. I might keep it like that or I might turn it into like an actual yard, I don't know. Also keep in mind, I'm renovating a lot. So I'm not probably gonna be moving until like December. So this is gonna look a lot different. I'm changing a lot of things cause it's a little dated and it's very manly, but welcome home bitches. <laughs> We're gonna have so much fun in this house, you guys. This is when you first walk in. This is the dining room and it goes off to this cute little like side patio. I'm changing this wall so that it opens up completely like accordion doors. But this is the little side patio. That's one of the guest rooms. This is the funniest little bathroom. Like this reminds me of like the under the stairs Harry Potter thing. It's so tiny. My boyfriend suggested I make this into a little cat den. I might do that. Over here we have the kitchen. My real estate agent made this cute little setup for me and I'm so obsessed with her. She made me little ornaments of all of my pets. But yeah, this is the kitchen. It's so pretty. I'm gonna be changing the cabinets and everything so that they're white. And then all the like dark brown trim everywhere is gonna be like a lighter wood or like a white color. The kitchen goes off onto this cute patio. This is where I'm gonna put like my outdoor dining table and everything. This is where I'm gonna be eating dinner. <laughs> The star of the fucking show. This is the living room. The door is completely open up, so this whole wall is open. I love these. Marty's gonna love those. The fireplace is sick. I'm so obsessed with the floor. It's like stone. Okay, we're in my backyard. This yard was like the selling point for me. It was very important for me to have a yard that I loved. So I'll show you my yard. Here's the back of the house. I have a hot tub, and then there's a little waterfall into the pool. That's a little patio that goes into another guest bedroom. Look at this whole like yard that I have. There's this little like round thing right here. I'm thinking I'm gonna put like a fireplace in the middle with like cozy chairs around. 
And I'll show you my observation deck. This is my Buddha. I'm gonna name him and confide in him with all of my deep dark secrets. He's stunning. He's my new friend. This is the deck. Look at the fucking view. Oh my God. You guys, imagine a bar on this deck, yeah. Okay, so that's my bedroom. I will show you guys that right now. So there's two guest rooms and two guest bathrooms, obviously, right there. And there's another one off of the front door in, down there. I'll show you that another time. Here are the stairs that go up. I love them. They're so cute. Directly to the right is this gym. I'm probably not going to keep this as a gym, but I'm not sure yet. I don't know. I could put like a Pilates machine in here. How fun would that be? I don't know yet, though. And then this room over here, I think this is going to be my office. This room overlooks that like little side patio. And this is the bathroom. The bathrooms are like my main concern renovation wise. I hate them. They're all changing except for the shower. I really like the shower. Okay, this is the main bedroom. I don't know why the previous owner left me these dreadful light fixtures. They will be gone soon. I have a fireplace in my bedroom. It cannot get more vibes than that. <laughs> like I can't make this up. That's the cutest thing ever. And then this is like my outdoor patio off of my bedroom. The view is stunning. You can wake up and see my fucking Buddha every morning. It's a pretty large patio. And then it goes off into this. Eventually, I'm going to knock down walls in here and make this like a big walk-in closet. Because there's like these closets and stuff, but I'd rather just have it be like one big one. And this is the master bathroom. I like the way this bathroom is set up, but all of the color schemes will be changed. I'm going to put electric mirrors in all the bathrooms too for lighting purposes. But I love the shower. It's like a dual shower. And this bathtub, like, are you fucking kidding me? How cunt is that bathtub and the view while you're taking a bath? I am just beyond proud of myself. And I'm so grateful for you guys. And you're all invited to my housewarming party. We can get hammered and we can jump off of my bedroom balcony into the pool. That's what I'm thinking. You are putting that content back out to those people that literally made you. And to see it be handled so irresponsibly enrages me and it pisses me off and when things that piss me off or make me feel passionate or sad or happy i come to my channel and we talk about it so i obviously know the answer to this question or else i would ask how do y'all feel about a 600 hundred dollar candle i know how like i said 95 percent of people are going to say that's absolutely insane and ridiculous um, and you know, I think that people that know finances and they know wealth, even if you have the money to spend it on that, most people are not going to be spending $600 on a candle if they are good with money and they are truly wealthy. So either way, I know a quick video, ranty, salty, all the things, but I wanted to post something a little bit lighthearted maybe not so serious um as a video today because my next upload is going to be talking about Dee, Dee blanchard's autopsy report and also a um another issue with gypsy that is happening um on social media but that's not what this video is about so keep an eye out for that but for now if you like the video please leave a like and a comment and if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.